Hello folks, and welcome back. Ten more Metro Exodus, and when last we left off, pain. We've kind of been left to our own devices to save Anna. While the uh, <laughs> while the colonel goes off to try and find some kind of a map. From fucking where? I can see these things are going to be absolutely infuriating. Ow. thing is they're relatively close range and I can kill them with my uh, bolt thrower uh, by that I mean crossbow can't get in there to get that one I'm going to find out what that thing is at some stage. Fuck me! Ow, shit! Whatever it is, it's big enough to hunt the muties. So that's uh, potentially problematic. That. Okay. <clears throat> Worn out diary. December 10th. December 10th. Looks like we're more or less settled now. Sure feels weird. Life over, the whole world is cinders, nothing but static on the radio. We don't have that much longer, with the counter ringing like an alarm clock on steroids. The military, though, still can't drop their charade. Crea they've created a committee. A special one to boot. So official, the civilians don't give much of a damn either. They used to whine about being transferred to the Sibirskia, and when the military stopped all immigration, they just switched to pickering over spots furthest from the tunnels. What difference does it make? Hardly half of us will be still alive in a month. Feeling sick? I wonder how much radiation have I swallowed in the last month. December 15th. The station manager gave out the radio protector today. It appears they are making the stuff at the institute. I thought they did it just to keep the folks from panicking, but no, I felt better as soon as I took the shot. It looks like we're going to be staying here for a little longer. January 1st. How many years have passed since my whole life? Was there anything even worth noting in that life? I just wasted it all here in the underground. Hmm. Well, I did move to the depot, but that's just work. You could do worse if you want your green stuff. So I just went without writing anything down. Who cares about day-to-day -day stuff? You can't even tell one year from another down here. January 2nd. I just had to go and write that shit yesterday. Talk about bad luck. Where did all those worms come from? With it being winter and all, spent the whole day cleaning the tunnel. In the technical corridor, the slimy through all the planks. Me be damned if I know what we are doing. What are we going to build walkways with from now on? Still, he didn't get the mushrooms. Famine definitely is something we could do without. 
January 15th. Our boys are back from the surface. Two of the five plus the spook. And they are keeping their mouths shut. Manager to get them talking over drinks. The Akatamogorok. <coughs> Green stuff warehouse is empty now. They'll have to cut our supply down. I'm lucky to have some set aside for a rainy day. And when that runs out, who cares about this life anyways? February 15th. I called it. They cut our hand out by half. I can survive, but what are the people with families supposed to do? March 15th. Another cut by half. Just one flask. This is enough to last a week here. Another week later, you start puking your guts out. Another two, and it's time to start shopping for a coffin. Though coffins are a thing of the past now, well, you're lucky if you don't feed you to the pigs once you croak now. April 10th. Gave my last five flasks to Kolya. His daughter's got the rash again. With this, she c should get better with a spell. I'm done with sitting on my butt in this hole. The others say the same. We're going to have some fun. Spread our wings a bit before closing time. <laughs> oh, who's naughty boy then? Bust out the old bag. Because we've got a new upgrade for our shoddy McShotgun. Box magazine? Don't mind if I do. <coughs> that is 20 shots. It's essentially a uh, minigun for shotguns. Something's going to jump in. Crossbow is getting filthy, mate. Look at it. Actually, can I put that away for just a second, Archie? I want to check something quick. So, the thing that's causing that is this. A piece of pipe fashioned into a stock significantly increases weapon stability. Or is this pneumatic bow system? Pneumatic bow system spreads, speeds up the crossbow reloading process, increasing its rate of fire considerably. Oh, all these weapons have some kind of a freaking... Uh, pipe thing. <clears throat> well, we're rowing. We're rowing. We're rowing down the river again. God, there's hundreds of them.
Right, now I need to try and collect some of my bloody ammo. I can see these things are going to be more annoying than anything. Okay. Sounds proper close, too. Probably get spat on in a minute. have at least for the most part been able to recoup some of my losses. Not close enough. You watch, it'll be inside the frickin' Oh no, I was able to get it. Bloody worms are everywhere, though. More of them show up down this nice open bit of... Oh. through that. Oh, shit! Ah!
Oh shit. Uh, fuck that or No, I don't want to take that off. Okay. Don't think I'll be able to get through here, but I'm going to take a look anyway. Bat on by those things if I can help it. Much as I'd love those chemicals, I just want to get through this tunnel. Yeah, because this sure is safe, isn't it? the crossbow as and where I can actually, you know, collect the ammo I use. God, it's like I'm crawling down a giant sphincter. Can I not?
Christ. I kind of wish I could repair my mask. But, unfortunately, you can't under these circumstances. Get that fully charged. I could actually make some more, um... Uh, well, some more medical supplies, apparently. Oh, shut up. How's that even working? Well, I suppose it's just releasing it down, isn't it? Actually ran on the motor. I would be very surprised if it was still able to work. Shit, is that one of the snake things dead? Oh, God. Well, this just doesn't look like the place I want to be. I'm sure there's some juicy stuff along there if you're able to freaking work your way through. Something's going on here. Sniper around. <laughs> A bench. Let's uh, turn that off, switch that off for a minute.
fucking belt fed. And it sounds like it wasn't going very well for these guys. Going to be them. But at least uh, my shit is clean. More, you horrible wiggly fuckers. I know you probably think I'm mad. It's like, why is he making boats? He can collect them. Well, it doesn't always present itself as an opportunity to collect them. But the damn thing is quite powerful. A neat little one-shotter. And I don't like the fact that this stuff is slippery. hit me. I will freaking end every last one of these horrible things if I have to. Hopefully that's gotten rid of them. I don't know what kind of dudes you've been dealing with down here, Worms, but I am mother fucking Artyom. I ain't no scrub. He says as he shits himself after being brutally attacked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, where's the others? Gonna wait for me to fucking get on the boat?
Can't be nice to get out of this sphincter trap. Sure, there's probably fascinating lore down there. If I want out of this. Oh, yeah, we go. Come on, wake up. Okay, you shouldn't be here. So this is a vision. Visions clearing. That's north. Rads are pretty high. The game is... Bugging with me. Oh, it's definitely those weird alien dudes. I go. Oh, up this way. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metro Evil. note browned note years 
I did shut the gate. What else was I supposed to do? You have been sitting down there ever since the warning came in, and I spent all that time manning the gate. Crazy shit was going down here. Traffic jams you'll never believe. Crashes all over. Emergency teams stuck in traffic just like everybody else. Everyone went nuts. The crowd rushing for the gate with suitcases, bags and stuff. Eyes white. I had five soldiers. There was no way we could have held. They started shooting into the air. The crowd rushed back. Five people got crushed against the wall in the stampede. I couldn't do anything. I just couldn't. And I am certainly not going to stand being judged by you, and not by any other man either. Farewell. See you on the other side, I guess. The fuck? <laughs> Fucking filter just got deleted, mate. I had a clear minute left on that sucker. Um, th that is definitely not the game trying to be spooky. <laughs> I think this could be a problem. look a bit off. Those footprints look very off. Oh, 
Oh, we've got some power going on here. Let's see what this does. Screaming at us for a filter in a moment. God obviously had enough and drank himself to fucking death. It was not going down though. Don't know what the uh, purpose of turning on that power was though. Here to have done anything, except maybe I don't know. has gone to the trouble of setting up lines here so I don't know if it's the game just trying to be helpful or if or if um, something it is trying to allude that something is alive down here we did see that big burly thing Going that way then, Chief. Pretty sure Anna's gonna be dead as fuck. Oh god. What the shit, man? Is this just some spooky shit going on? Because, you know, a lot of dead folk. There's a lot of energy. And likely very negative energy. Or it's those... It's gonna be hard to contact you when I'm having a fucking episode here. Okay, so we're after the miracle goop.
for the love of all that is holy in this world. So I must be at the Institute then. What is it? Nothing here. Oh shit. Getting back on my goddamn crossbow bolts, you fucking ape. Oh, let's finish reloading that then. What we've got over here? Good stuff. Right, well. I'd say we've attacked a giant ape creature. Managed to make it through past, all the, uh, past some of the Institute. And we're about to go into the unknown. That's where we're going to leave this one for now, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And when we return, will we find the stuff we need to save Anna? Does it even exist? See you again in the next one. Bye-bye.